What's up everybody, Tim here at Timmer's EM1 and right now I got a pretty pretty special video for you. It's a test between Huawei's Supercharge for their Mate 9 and OnePlus's Dash Charge for their, for their 3T. Now looking at both phones, each phone right now, well this one's at 4%, 4% remaining and the 3T right now 5% remaining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in both phones, you know, as at the same time. So you can see here, I've got my cord, if I can get it over. See, this is the OnePlus dash charge. And then on here, I have the, uh, the Huawei. This is the supercharge brick. Let me just see. Supercharge. So as you can see, this the OnePlus is the uh, the red cable, and the uh, where'd it go? The uh, Mate 9 supercharged cable is the white cable. Now you have to use the included power bricks and the included cables in order for you to get the charging speeds for each device. So that's what I'm doing right here. Got the iPhone right here to time it. I'm gonna remove this protective plastic over the charging over the cable for the OnePlus. And actually, let me switch these two over. Okay, as you can see, 4%, both are, both are now at 4%. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm just gonna plug both in. At the same time, I'll try my best. One is obviously, obviously gonna be a few seconds. We'll have a few seconds head start, but I don't think that's gonna make that big of a difference, starting with the Huawei. And the uh, OnePlus 3T, okay. Start the clock. Now, what happens when I uh, turn off the device and I turn it back on, see, supercharging, okay, on the Huawei. And then on the 3T, you can see right there, dash charging, okay? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna fingerprint. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna check back every, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or so to uh, check the progress, all right? All right, I'm gonna leave this here. So I'll see you in a bit. Be right back. All right guys, I'm back. So let's check the progress. We are about 30, 38 minutes into the charge now. Okay, um, and let's see how, how much charge we have. Now we started, I think on 4% or 5% with the OnePlus 3T here. As you can see, about 38 minutes into it, we are at 74%. Very nice. And also, let's check now on the Mate 9. On the Mate 9, we are at 71%. All right, so slightly faster on the dash charge. Dash charge is slightly ahead, but both phones are charging at a fast rate. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, just a few minutes ago, I just realized that uh, I actually had these two in the wrong place. So this is obviously the 3T, so the dash charging stickers should be on this side, and then the main 9 should be on where the main 9 is, right there. So there you go. Quick little correction. All right, guys, I'm back. The uh, OnePlus 3T just hit 95%. So take a look at the time. Now we're five minutes and was it now 39 seconds, 40 seconds? So I'm gonna see how long it takes to go from 95% to a full charge. All right, and then the update on the, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to the, the 3T there. Mate 9. It's at 92%. So again, the OnePlus 3T is maintaining a solid 3% lead over the Mate 9. All right. Be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm back. So it's about an hour and 22 minutes now. And the OnePlus 3T is at 99%. 
So if I recall correctly, when I cut this video, it was an hour and five minutes or an hour and six minutes, and it was at 95%. So the charging considerably slows down from 95% and beyond. However, on the Mate 9, remember, when I last cut the video, the 3T had a solid 3% lead. Yeah, the 3T had a solid 3% lead over the Mate 9. But as you can see, the Mate 9 has caught up a little bit. Now the Mate 9 is at 98%. The 3T is at uh, 99%. And also note, I've noticed that, well, this is pretty obvious. When the, both phones were charging, the charging bricks right here, you know, they got pretty warm. Not hot, but you know, they got... They got warm because the phones are charging, but I've noticed as these phones got closer to 100%, the charging rate has slowed down considerably. These bricks, they're both now cool to the touch. I mean, they're not even, they're barely warm at all. So just keep that in mind. So we're getting close to the end here. The 3T is at 99%, the Mate 9, now the Mate 9, now, it's also at 99%. Look at this. An hour and 26 and 30 something seconds later. Look at that. One plus three T, 100% fully charged. So I guess we can say that the three T is the winner in this charging battle. Dash charging for the win. And here, an hour and 28 minutes later, the Mate 9 also hit 100%. So there you have it guys. It was interesting. The 3T actually grew a 3% lead and then towards the very end the main 9 actually caught up and tied the 3T. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. This video just to give you an idea of how long it'll take to basically charge your phone. Both phones offer fast charging. Dash charge for the OnePlus 3T and Huawei's calling it Supercharge. Uh, no I'm not talking about cars. Supercharge on the main 9. All right, so basically both took about a little less than an hour and a half to fully charge. All right, hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Again, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. This is Tim. I'm out. Peace.